As we have studied what is continuity equation in rectangular coordinates and in polar coordinates, let us solve few questions on continuity equation and apply the concept of continuity. So let us get back to the problem. The problem says that the velocity components for three dimensional incompressible flow is given as u is equals to x cube minus y cube minus z square x, y is equals to y cube minus z cube and w is equals to minus 3x square z minus 3y square z and plus z cube. Check whether it satisfies the continuity equation or not. Now, to whether we it satisfies the continuity equation or not, for that we need to know what is continuity equation. So we know that the continuity equation in rectangular coordinate system that gives us dou u by dou x plus dou v by dou y plus dou w by dou z is equals to 0. If this satisfies this continuity equation, then the flow is possible or else the flow isn't possible. So let us continue solving this for equation number one for the value of velocity component along x direction now let us solve and differentiate that with respect to x now from the problem we know that u is equals to x cube minus y cube minus z square x now, we have to derivate this part with respect to x. So, we know that dou u by dou x is equals to 3x square. Since it is not a function of x over here, so that will be 0 minus z square. Derivative of x is 1. Similarly, the value of v from the problem which is given to you as over here v is a function of y and z that is y cube minus z cube that is y cube minus z cube so dou v by dou y is equals to 3 y square minus 0 and the third part that is w which is equals to minus 3x square z minus 3y square z plus z cube by 3. So we have to differentiate this equation with respect to z. So this is minus 3x square z minus 3y square z plus z cube by 3. So let us solve this part that is do w by dou z that is equals to minus 3x square minus 3x 3y square plus this will be 3z square by 3 3 3 will go away and we will be left with minus 3x square minus 3y square plus z square let us consider this as equation 1 equation number 2 and equation number 3. Now our continuity equation says that if this addition is equal to 0 then the flow is possible else the flow isn't possible. So let us add equation number 1 plus 2 plus 3. So you will get over here that is dou u by dou x dou v by dou y and do w by do z that can be write, written as del operator dot v velocity component that is a del operator we, we must have studied in vector quantities so that is equals to we'll add all the components that is 3x 3x square minus z square plus 3y square minus 3x square minus 3y square plus z square. Now over here 
this z square and z square will get cancelled these two three x square will get cancelled and three y square and three y square will get cancelled now what we are left with over here that is del dot v is equals to zero that means del dot v is actually what is our continuity equation and it is zero if the continuity equation which we have proved that is equals to zero hence flow is possible i hope you have understood how to apply continuity equation and check whether the flow is possible or not thank you